Hello, and welcome back to the series where we are building an overland vehicle, but to a budget. Yes, today we are getting on to the undersealing side of things, but um, before, if you've missed anything, any of the previous episodes, I'll stick a link at the top now so you can go back, catch yourself up before getting to this point. Because last week, a lot of you wanted to know what the finished lift kit looks like in the end, because we didn't quite get there. We still had our axle stands at the end of last week's video. So yes, this is, what it is looking like. So it's a 50 millimeter lift, but it's more than that because obviously it was sagged before, especially in the rear. Been for a test drive just on the road. It's kind of uh, feels good, a little bit stiff, needs to settle in a bit, but uh, be nice to get it off road and test that properly. Filthy animal. Grinding, grinding, grinding. Just perfect. <laughs> this series is sponsored by From Lano Guard, we have the Moto Spray, two liter, um, also the Moto Grease. The spray comes with uh, extension lance and um, you know a spray so we can uh, get underneath and access all the areas easily. First things first, we need to get underneath and give the underside a real good clean with the pressure washer. As you can see, I've already set it up. Gonna degrease it first with a degreaser and then pressure wash everything and also give the underside, uh, you know, any loose debris or rust, just give it a bit of a wire brush down. The beauty about this really is that you can do it your own way. I mean, you can do as little or as much prep as you like. There's no right or wrong way. It just depends on you know how thorough you want to be and your personal choice when it comes to the vehicles. Now, make sure you stick around to the end, guys, because we're going to be breaking down the cost of you know what we spent on this kit, adding it to the total for our overland build, and also Nanogard have a special offer for you guys through JK Overland, a 10-day offer. So we we'll get to get to that at the end. Stick around and uh, get yourself protected for winter. We've been speaking with Lanogard themselves and getting some handy tips and advice on uh, everything about the product, uh, how to use it and what it's best for. I mean, they actually call this process right now winterize. Uh, so we are going to winterize our project car today. Um, they actually have a full information section on the winterize process. Uh, you can get that, I'll put it down here actually, just uh, load up this, this page and it will tell you everything you need to know about the winterized process and there's even a checklist you know to go through some more of the vulnerable areas of the vehicle and everything you need to check and make sure you're protected before the road salts and the winter hits us hard because you know it always does here in the UK so this is literally the perfect time for you to go and get yourself sorted get yourself a winterized package um, you've got 10 days to get the special offer which we'll talk about at the end so make sure you stick around till then um, you know late October early November things start to really change in the weather, get cold, get icy, and that's when the grit has come out and all that. So get on top of it now, get yourself protected. While we're here, I'm just gonna list off a few of the key benefits of using Lanagard compared to other products. Uh, firstly, a big one for me too, uh, it's uh, non-toxic. So, you know, minimal prep required. Uh, you can get under there, you don't have to worry about it. Maybe protect your clothes because you don't want it soaking into your clothes, but it's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna hurt the environment. So that's a major plus in my books. It's also, you can apply it year round, no matter the temperatures. If it is really cold, they recommend putting it in a bucket of warm water just to get it, uh, you know, the consistency better for spraying, but that's it basically if you're doing it in freezing conditions. It's also fine to use with rubber and plastic parts. It's not gonna damage them. Probably don't wanna spray it on your disc brakes because you know, anything that has slight lubricating properties is probably not a good idea to put on your brake discs, but that's about it. Otherwise you're good to go. You can spray it literally anywhere. Moto grease, useful there, you know, you can, put it on the bolt threads and things to stop any bolts from seizing up, battery terminals, anything electrical because it's not conductive. So ideal in that kind of application.
Right, so we'll let that dry now. Tomorrow we'll get out here again with the wire brush and um, just get underneath and uh, remove any loose bits of paint, rust, whatever. Just clean it up, make sure it's nice and smooth. And um, then either that afternoon, if it's dry enough, we'll check. Or the next day, we'll get onto the uh, application side of things. Okay, so it is a couple of days later. Left it for a couple of days to dry out. Um, did rain last night, bit annoying, but um, you know, it's still dry underneath, so it should be good. Uh, you know, today got to go on with some wire brushing, just get any loose bits off, flaky paint, rust, anything like that, just remove it before we start spraying. And I have an assistant today. Ta da! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so, two people are going to make light work of this. I reckon we'll be done in a couple of hours. I think so. I brought some tools. Excellent, because uh, you're going to be needing that as you go underneath and start oh. scraping. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's get to this. All for the greater good. <laughs> I'm glad she had a lift. <laughs> you know, just casually chilling under the car, scraping rust and dreaming about travelling. Very thorough. Of anything better to do. Whoa, oh. whoa. This is the most crucial part. The, the ground anchor. Yeah, go look after your ground ankle. Ankle? <laughs> anchor, I can't say. Excuse me, not aiming at me. Ah. Right, so it's a nice spray on that. Look at that, nice fine spray. Just want to make sure you, I'm going to start in the middle and work outwards, but you can do it any way you like. Just get a nice even coating, plus I want to get in all the nooks and crannies, all the gaps. And also coat our new springs and shocks, get that all covered and extra protected. I love the smell. Oh, yeah, it's so good that it's like non-toxic as well, so you can just like yeah. get on with it without worrying about it. I got it earlier. Maybe you got... put some goggles on if you don't want it blown in your eyes. But yeah. but if it does get in it's your not eyes, hurt it's not you, gonna which is awesome. You. Are you gonna help me or what? Probably not. No. Got no food. Got no food. Yes, that way. Can you just pick some more rust? <laughs> <laughs> I love the smell. I definitely don't love the smell. I do. It smells like sheep. That's the best thing. It's that almost like thing? you rub your face in it. What? <laughs> That's so weird. I 
having our tea break. We're also keeping our lanyard guard warm as well. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, well that's about us done. We spent the last, say, hour and a half under there, going front to back, actually getting it everywhere that we could. Um, so we've got a decent covering under there now. Definitely the next job on the list is to have a, a good hot shower because I feel rather greasy. Uh, I think Christina's already beaten me to it. She's gone. <laughs> but now is the time, guys. I must let you know about the special offer from Lanagard. Uh, it's available until the 27th of October with through JK Overland. So if you use the, this link below, I'll also put it in the video description, uh, you will also receive a free pro sprayer if you spend over £52.99 on any of the kits you'll get one of these included and that's great because now if you see I've got about a litre left of the two litres after we've done that job so I'm going to pour the rest of that into here and I can just keep this on the side or in the car whatever as a handy like top up bottle and just can keep it with me and you know spray anything you know, you know for instance when you've done a pressure wash and you've sprayed out all the wheel arches if there's any bits you feel like you want to top up or anything that's perfect for that or you find any bits you've missed further down the line got you covered so yep get one of those until 27th of october using the link below i'm also going to um you know where we took off the bash plates and things i'm going to put some of the bolts with a bit of this moto grease to keep those from rusting and um, yeah that should do the trick for that I might put some rounded battery terminals as well to stop any corrosion happening there ideal for that so that's that one more product I wanted to mention that you can get from Nanoguard uh, which we have is this chassis lance so you can just replace the sprayer end with the chassis lance I don't know if you can see that if it's focusing or not but it has a thing in the end with holes in so you can literally poke it down chassis rails and things like that and into any uh gaps where you know we can get into the wheel arches and sometimes they have bungs and things where you can open them up or in the doors etc you can get that in there and spray away <laughs> and uh, get all the cavities filled too so cavity lance available on the website too Whew. cool so let's go back to the office total everything up see where we are up to in this overland project the total budget now see where we cl how close we are to the ten thousand pound limit uh right see you there well, i do say it does feel good to be clean again so where are we up to on the uh total for this project well last week the totals came in at nine thousand one hundred seventy four sixty nine so for this part of the series where we were doing the under sealing with lanagard we purchased the lanagard vehicle underbody and chassis care kit which comes in at 68 uh, 99 uh, which includes that the um, professional sprayer bottle too but uh, the, I suppose if you wanted to do this in the cheapest possible way you could order the Lanogard refill bottle on its own which comes in at 52.99 which means if you use the the link that we provided you can get the JK Overland special offer and get the free professional sprayer included with that which will give you everything to, you know able to do the job quite easily and quite simply so that would be the cheapest option so we're getting all that much closer to <laughs> our new total no, new total being 9243.68 uh, not much more to go to our 10,000 pound upper limit but um, yeah a little bit there I mean, we've got to get onto other things like um, the electronic side of things and that for the uh, for camping and, and all that so that will be coming up very soon so stay tuned for that uh, please do give us this video a like guys subscribe if you're not already really helps the channel so really appreciate it thank you otherwise we'll be seeing you very soon in next week's video yeah and don't forget to use the link by the 27th of october You've got 10 days to use that to get the free professional sprayer which let me tell you which is worth 9.99 usually yeah so grab yourself a deal there otherwise yeah we'll be catching you very soon for next week's video moving on to electronics so pretty excited about that it's always a fun part of the build is uh, setting up your 12 volt system so yeah any guesses put them in the comments what you think we're going to go for i think it'll surprise a few of you but um i'll be interested to see what your thoughts are what you think we're going to do so yeah definitely put that in the comments below otherwise yeah take it easy guys see you very soon